What is happening team? I'm back in London town for yet another POV urban street photography sesh. I'm gonna start late afternoon and work straight through into the night. No idea what I'm gonna shoot, but I have come to the newly refurbished Battersea Power Station south of the river because there is an annual light festival starting tonight straight through to the 5th of March. So very excited about that. Let's go and see what we can find. So as this is a light festival, I'll probably be shooting all kinds of light installations. People staring in wonder at all the pretty little twinkle lights. Plus, I'll be testing out my new carbon fiber travel tripod from Suray. More on that later in the video. So kit that I'm going to use for tonight's shoot, my 50 millimeter 1.4 Sigma art lens. That's a great street photography lens. My 85 millimeter from Sony, that's a 1.8. And anything that needs a wide angle, then my 24 millimeter Sigma art lens. All shot on my Sony a7 IV, which is a great low light camera. Anything down to ISO 3200, and the images just clean up pretty well in post. Sun's just about gone down, so it's pretty cold right now, about zero degrees, going down to minus two or three, probably by about nine or 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna be wrapping it warm. <laughs> So plenty of other photographers about. Cheeky long exposure here, I think. For so one of the light installations, a sink plug. The wind is supposed to die down later this evening, so I'll come back then and shoot those glass-like reflections. So I reckon this is a football pitch length strip of neon. Gotta be something here. Let's see if I can grab this sweet little lady here in her leopard print. 80th of a second, f1.4. So putting my new Suray 5CX tripod to good use here. Always a good test of strength going vertical and it's solid as you like. So going for an obligatory self-portrait, which will be the lead image on my social media platforms. Another image taken using the Suray carbon fiber tripod easily manages a 10 second long exposure. I took the Suray 5CX with me on my last Snowden trip and its lightweight body and the way it folds down to nothing makes hikes and landscape photo trips that much more bearable on top of those heavy camera bags. Quick release legs and a strong ball head with smooth 360 degree rotation for those pano shots. Plus the wide stance that you get with these spring loaded levers all contribute towards steady long exposures out in the field. Right, back to the video. Well, I'm back and as I'd hoped, the wind has dropped and now we have beautiful glassy reflections of the power station. The plug installation is now all lit up, which is fabulous. Going for a focus stack of two images, one focusing on the power station and the other a few feet into the scene. F4 and one and a half seconds. And of course, a five second timer to ensure the camera is completely still. Ah, look at this, we have a smoker just posing for me. Here's where my ISO 3200 comes into effect. Gotta push that shutter up a touch to freeze the action. 24 mil lens. So 
Some lovely reflections bouncing off the water here with the red restaurant in the back. I'm getting some of the general pop walking by. This is one giant slinky. Little photo shoot happening over there. So I'm on my 85 mil now. Doggy. Just got a doggy coming into frame here. Pretty dark, but the pavement lights on the left are doing most of the work for me. Should make for a nice capture. Love this light installation. Bunch of laundry just suspended over the mall and that chimney in the back. He's one of those traffic like green men ah, and he's just opened his legs for me. <laughs> Life imitating art. And that's my battery dead. All of these images were edited using my new Lightroom preset pack available on my website. Thanks for watching, hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this and editing tip videos on my channel. I'll catch you next time.